today we are doing Kindness Rocks and our guest artist is Sarah Hopkin, Miss Fired Up Mama, and of course Drew Brophy is leading. Hi, I'm Maria, and um, we just want to get this in real quick. Posca USA is making all this happen for us so that we're able to bring it to people free of charge. So let's um, remember to thank Posca. And also at the end, um, after this hour is over, we're going to pick one winner, one winner to get this set of Posca Hey Pants. So um, welcome. And, yeah. and I think you have to stay on the whole hour. Right? To, yeah, to, to be eligible, you have to participate. You have to participate, and we're watching you. So stay here, or we're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're really happy. This is uh, uh, 15 colors of my signature 7 m pen, which is a really great set to uh, start with. And we have Sarah Hopkins here. We're going to just uh, hopefully just hang out together, answer questions, see what everybody's painting, paint something cool. This is what I painted. Uh, last time so that's pretty cool and um there's lots of examples on here and really this is just another activity if you don't have a rock you can feel free to paint on anything else um, a piece of wood on a uh, piece of canvas paper whatever um, this is just something to uh, have a little art project in the day and um so i'm excited because uh, this is i think willow painted this uh last time so you could write your name, you could write a message, uh, you could do a funny fish like this one. Um, or dots if you feel like you don't have, you know, something else in your head. And um, real quick, if you don't have paint pens, that's totally fine, use whatever you have. Uh, but real quick, just to go over the pens, we, uh, the pens work great, the five mil pens, there's three mil pens, there's seven mil pens. And that's just basically talking about the tip size, how big the tips are on them. And so we're going to be grabbing all of those and painting. And um, which rock do you think there, sir? Um, this one looks kind of fun. Yeah. A little different. Oh, wait, were you going to pick this one? I too? was not going to pick that one. Okay, you were not I'm going to take this big one. Um, actually, you know what? I think that we could pick from all the way over here. Okay. okay. So uh, I really want this to be interactive for anybody who's. Uh, I can't see everybody's pictures on there, Julian. So maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if we can see everybody. And then also, uh, we want people to be able to raise their hand and, uh, and be able to talk to us and show us what they are working on and be able to ask questions. So on my rock, I'm actually just gonna write my name on it. Um, I just kind of want to- Because you rock, Drew, right? I just, I just kind of think it's cool to like, you know, <laughs> so that's a good activity people can do or you can write whatever you want, but, um, I'm going to outline mine in white. Mm, I have to think about what I want to do. Mm. And this rock's kind of cool because it stands on its own. So maybe I can just put it on stuff and say, okay, mark my territory. Well, we've had so much rain lately, and now where we are exactly, I don't know where you guys are, but we have sunshine now. So I think I'm going to be the sunshine. That sounds great. That's what I'm going to do. Pick all your colors. Let's see. Mm. Now that we, here we go. I can see my rock. Let me see. And I am going to uh, lightly just kind of write my name. Maybe I'll do a big bubble letters. I love rainbows, so I think I need to do rainbow colors because always when it rains and the sun comes out, we get to see rainbows. So you can see I'm, I'm writing my name on here. Um, and I just, I'm lightly doing it with white. Oh, I'm off the camera. And then I'm gonna, the, what's great about these pens is they're opaque, so I can just paint right over this. This is kind of just like my little outline. And this is gonna grow over time. So now I'm like making it kind of like more bubbly letters. Did you already do the letters one? Remember you were going to do writing or? Did yeah, you I, did do that. I did that one over there. Uh, the yeah, circle. I really love this. This is really cool. There you go. And so you can see that, you know, I put my name on there and then I'm going to write stuff around it. And um, maybe I can like 
put it, put it on a stack of papers, a paperweight or something. Or maybe I can just put it down at the beach and say hi to people. <laughs> um, this is kind of neat. Let me get all my colors. We have so many possible pens. I wish everybody could be here with us. These are amazing. I just love how they, every layer you do it just makes it a little more darker, a little more deep of color. Mm. And so I'm going to fade my colors. I'm going to make sure I'm in the screen. So I'll do the dark color first, and while it's wet, I'm just doing the D of my name. And what's neat is I'm kind of going to do it like shadowed. So everywhere on the bottom and on one side, I will put dark like this. And then I'm going to take the bigger pen and I'm going to outline it. Like this, and see how it looks like it's hmm. something like that. So it blends together. Yeah, and then if you have scratch paper, we have a whole table of scratch paper, you clean off the tips like that. Oh, so you can wipe off the other color that gets on there. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. I didn't want it to stay on there forever. I'd like to see who's out there. And um, we have Jillian and Maria as the moderators. Can we see uh, what everybody's doing and maybe uh, connect with a few people? That'd be great while we work. I want to see what you guys are doing. Who wants to? Raise your hand. Annie, are you out there? Annie, Annie? I don't see Annie. I see... Alyssa. It's Alyssa's daughter, Annie. Oh, Alyssa. I do see an Alyssa. I can unmute. Yes. Are you there, little one? I'm here. Are you here? I yeah. hear you. Here. We're here, but my camera's not working, so we're just a black screen. Oh, okay, but we can, but you're here and I can hear your beautiful voices, yes? Yes, yeah. we're here and we're loving it and we're having a good time. And, and uh, I may switch over to my phone or something and see if maybe I can get on so you can see that we're here too and we can share what we're working on. Okay, can Annie tell me what she's making? I want to hear. I'm making a B. Ooh. Oh, cool. Um, and um, are you going to make the entire rock a B, or are you just making a B on the rock? On the rock. And you just picked up a mug from my shop that has honeycomb on it, and you're going to paint that as a B, too. <gasps> I'm sensing yes. a theme. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh, which is good because we need bees, don't we, you guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm painting a heart. Oh, Alyssa, you're painting too with us? Yeah. Oh, yes. I think we do need to see. You need to get your phone going so we can see it. Yeah, so if we cut out for a minute um, on my computer, know that we'll be right back on my phone. Okay, that's fabulous. I okay. love it. Love it. Love we'll be back. Okay, I'm happy you're here, you guys. Thank so you for inviting us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see on mine that I'm holding up close that I've kind of, let me get it in the right picture. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh my God, Drew. So I'm going to do this like a reverse coloring book. So I do the color first, and then when it dries, I'm going to do the outline, and then maybe do some effects. So having fun with your name or a fun word that has action, like last, last time I did the word surf and you could do like just something and you know, uh, you know, this one had love on it, which was kind of cool that Willow did. So these are just like simple things and fun things to do. But what's cool about this is you keep adding on to it. So take notice of what this looks like now. And as I keep going, it's going to change. And, um, you know, you're listening to music and, and within an hour, it's just going to be like something really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Going from doodling to. Can we uh, see see somebody else's project and, and maybe get some questions or, you know, listen to what's going on out in the world? Anybody from further away and their experience? Because this is really kind of a social event. That who I wants like. to show? Who wants to show their work? Yeah. Raise your hand. Um, actually, there's a question from Paige and Reagan. Let's answer this question. 
The question is, how do I blend colors, number one? And number two, what do we do if we mess up? Mm. So I'll, I'm gonna add, uh, there are no mess ups. Mm -hmm. You just keep painting. Um, and blending the colors, I start with the darkest color. So for me, in the, what, the blend that I'm doing, it's dark blue to light blue to white. And so you just work, like I'm actually doing one letter at a time like I did. I put the darkest color where I wanted it, and then I blend it in half in, half out onto the, uh, on, into the color, and then did the same thing with the white. So you blend the colors while they're wet. And don't be scared to go into the darker color and pull it out, and you'll see it kind of doing it. Um, in some of the workshops we do, we really practice on blending the colors. If you have like a scratch piece of cardboard or something, you can do it on the side. I'll show you how, like just right here on the paper. Let me see where, there, I'll do it right there. So kind of, if you imagine having a, a look, you put the dark color and then the light color, half in, half out. Oh, okay. Like this, and then it blends out. And then the white. And you can kind of go back and forth until you get it just right. And you get these like subtle blends. And so if you can see that right there. Um, and this works with any blend. Usually you want to use three colors for a blend. So it could be red, orange, and yellow, or orange, yellow, and white, um, of course the greens, or you get much, much more dynamic and pick like, you know, I could go uh, black to dark blue, to light blue, to white, and then actually go into like a yellow or something. So it's really uh, up to you. The more colors you have, the harder it is. So I'm gonna keep moving on mine just to give people some ideas. And, and we're gonna we're gonna spotlight Johnny and Joey Whelan. You ready for them? Yeah, let's yeah, see baby. those guys. Hey guys, what's up? I, I can't see. Now them. we see you, Maria. Oh, oh wait a minute. You do? Okay, wait a minute. Let me fix that. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Spotlight. There. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, I got the wrong spotlight. Hold on. Um. Jillian, help me out here. That's okay. We're, we're, we should be good now. <laughs> we're we're spotlighting uh, Joey and Johnny. You guys can talk. Can you hear us, Drew? I, I, we can hear you, Maria. Hello. Oh, I hear somebody. Is that? But I think it's the other little people. There we go. There you go. Hey, Johnny. Joey, what's up? Can I see your guys' rock? Oh, um. This is my favorite lock I made so far. That looks good. Ooh, I love it. So you guys oh. having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Right on. This has been really fun. Yeah. <laughs> you, we got to get your dad painting too. <laughs> he can paint numbers. He'll he like picked up some locks today, so he can paint. All right, oh, on. Oh, good. Well, let's all keep painting. I'm gonna, I want you to paint all those rocks, and we're going to look at them when, um, when we get finished towards the end. So keep working on them, okay? And thanks, Drew. This makes up for not having art class at school, so we appreciate it. Yeah, and we'll just keep doing this. And um, it's going to be neat to see all the art that comes out of this time uh, at home. So um, hopefully we can just keep everybody entertained. Fun stuff and creative stuff and um, make time at home uh, a wonderful thing. One second. I finished my third law. Yeah. I know I think kids are going to do more art being at home than they would at school anyway. And it's actually more freeing when you're doing it at home because when they're at school, they have to do the meet the masters and all that. So they like have to do it a certain way. And so now when you're at home, you can do your art projects any way you want. Yeah. It's kind of free, you know? And I kind of want to show people right here. See, once my color dries, I go back over with um, the outline. And you see how I'm detailing my D here. And I'm just going to, one by one, just outline the D and then maybe add more colors. But it's real methodical the way I paint. So, um, you know, I just sit there and I'm playing with it. There's no rules. 
Um, somebody was asking earlier whether you make mistakes. Um, sometimes you have happy mistakes that make it look really cool. Aww, so, happy little mistakes! Is that what mm -hmm. I touched you? Uh-oh, they touched you. <laughs> Drew, there was another question from Paige and Reagan again, and they're asking if you blend the colors while they're still wet, will it ruin the pens? I get that question all the time, and the answer is no. Uh, the pens are designed to blend, so there'll be a little, a little color on the tip when you blend it. All you have to do is go to your scratch uh, paper, and it'll, it'll blend right out. Sometimes I do, um, I'm careful with like a yellow or a white. So I might have two yellows, one to blend with greens and one to blend with oranges. So um, that's just a little bit easier, but you won't ruin the pen. Uh, the color comes out nice. So you see my D's get a little better. And I gotta be careful not to have my hand go through the pen, uh, through the ink while it's wet. Mm. So you don't want to smear it, but if you do smear it, it's not the end of the world. You can fix it. The pens are opaque. And it's just really good that, you know, I'm not having to go and dip my, my thing in paint and then bring it back. There's not any mess. So a lot of you out there who are working, this is a real easy thing to do at the kitchen table mm -hmm. or sitting on the couch on a coffee table. And um, perfect for this predicament we're in where we're all kind of stuck in place and what a great thing to be able to do with the time going by and um, if you get tired of your project you can set it down and pick it up later or maybe you'll be spontaneously inspired to do something cool um, there's lots of great examples online of what other people are doing and that's kind of why I want to see what people are doing out there so that you can inspire others who might be a little stuck. Um, I can only paint one thing at a time, so it's a, you know, I want to inspire people through everything that you guys are doing out there in the world. I love these pens. They can be used on anything. Oh, I should have brought the tile. Willow painted on the tile yeah. for my shop, and it actually looks really cool. You know what else it works Darn. great on is um, on terracotta of, of planters oh, so okay so the pots you plant your plants in you can have art and label them maybe for a uh, you know an herb garden or something like that and these are really great pens drew i yeah. really like these well it's just been really interesting for me i discovered these pens when uh yeah, how when long was, ago in the 80s oh me. my gosh no and so i've been painting surfboards and it really changed my life because it allowed me to um, just have fun and then apply uh, what, I, what I was doing to a lot of different uh, products. So surfboards and skateboards, and I was able to customize them. I used to customize my shoes and hats and my jeans. And um, it's just a great way to be creative and um, make things look cool, like I like to say, um, upcycle things. Uh, so I'm, a, uh, I'm, you know, been using the pens for over 30 years now, and I just think it's a wonderful tool, especially for schools, um, to mm -hmm. be able to use because. Uh, Do they stain through? Uh, everything, it's, it's washable. Mm -hmm. um, it is hard to get out of certain clothes if you have an accident, so always try to wear. Um, uh, maybe a shirt that you don't care about or jeans, but uh, they don't spill, so there's no way you can spill oh, those. okay, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you might press down on the pen too much when you get it started like that and oh, have a little sense. pull, but that's why you always have scratch paper next, next mm. to you, and um, I don't know if you can see that on the screen where the, just a lot of paint came out. So you got to be really careful not to do that on your piece of art because and that could create a mess. You're gonna have a bad time. But so, there was another question um, from John and Joey Wheeling Household. Yeah. The question is, when you sit in front of a blank canvas, Drew, how do you get inspired? Where do you start? The boys want to do a piece for a school magazine. It's a quarantine magazine called Lemonade. Mm -hmm. um, the deadline is tomorrow, but they don't know where to start. Can you get them started? 
Um, well, I would first think about what the, uh, what the name is, Lemonade. That's kind of cool. So maybe drawing a surf and lemon or something like that since we're in San Clemente. Um, but my inspiration just comes from, you know, I listen. So whether it's a client or if I'm interested in something or I hear something funny, like draw a little cartoon, or like here we're doing words, like I just did my name, but just think if I just said, you know, like the comic book slam, and I could do like a pop thing. So my advice to you guys is try not to try so hard. Try to have fun, try to be silly, and good ideas come out. Now, not all the ideas are great, but if you just let ideas spill out of you, like when you're just having fun, every once in a while you look down and you're like, ooh, that's a really good idea. And then you expand upon it, try to make it better. So, you know, good luck with your project. I would start maybe with something like lemonade or a lemon surfing and just make them funny. Maybe it's a funny lemon, it's kind of like this guy. Imagine this face is a lemon. And, um, can I say something too? Yeah, please. So I'm just not as a famous artist as you are, okay? But if you think about maybe the fact that it's lemonade and we're quarantined, so you are going to make lemonade out of the lemons that you have. So think about what made you happy during this quarantine, right? Um, yeah, you didn't get to go to school. You didn't get to see your friends. You're stuck at home. We've already talked about that last time. It's kind of funny that we're all like so sad that we have to be at home. And but what did you find? You know, like I'm totally stoked on all the flowers I'm seeing outside. I'm seeing a lot more. Um, not to be like dad mom thing, but I'm seeing a lot of dads being able to hang out with their kids. Like. A lot of dads leave to go to work, let's say, you know, no offense about moms and da da da. Come on now, totally equal opportunity chick, okay? <laughs> but think about what you found comforting during this time, you know? Because there must have been something that made you yeah. happy, right? So where did you make your lemonade from, right? Yeah, true. And just the opportunity for me, um, like I'm usually always so busy, I don't get to do things like this very often. So it's it's allowing me to step back and remind myself why I think doing art is so important and so cool. You know, just sitting here painting is um, very meditative and relaxing. And um, I'm just stoked that we can all do this together. Um, I'm not sure how many people we have on this call, but on Monday we had over 200 people on the call and um, realizing that people took the time to stop and focus on what they were doing uh, was pretty exciting and a lot of great art was posted online from that at Brick Yard Academy um, uh, Instagram. I want to show what I'm doing next just as an idea for some of you. So you saw me progressing. Can you, yeah, there we go. And now I'm just outlining the black and I'm having trouble. I'm looking at one camera Just trying to get tilt, it. Tilt, <laughs> tilt, 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 tilt. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, towards the yeah, middle of yeah. the table. That's it. So um, the orange, I'm just outlining it, and I'm just going to keep doing this until all the rock part is gone, and this is all painted. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's, it's actually looking really cool. I think it was amazing. I think you could make some money making art, you know? Here's a question from Paige and Reagan. Can you add glitter to the paint? Ooh. Uh, they actually have glitter. Um, some of the marker or paint pens have glitter in them. There's a whole glitter set. Um, but yeah, you could, you know, you don't have to exclusively use uh, Poscas. You could put some, um, you know, brush on a little glue and sprinkle on glitter. Um, you could maybe, uh, you could add glitter to this inside the pen, but you can definitely work with glitter onto, onto your rock. Um, and the glitter that they have in the glitter set is really fine. So if you put too thick of glitter in one of these, it might clog it up. But yeah, I like you that. put the glitter on afterwards and then spray it? Or no? Yeah, sometimes what you do with the, the glitter is you would paint on glue or, or get a glue stick and, and mark it and then sprinkle the glitter on there and then it would stick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And there's all kinds of things that you can get like uh, like little sparklies and stuff. You could 
you know, stick the little sparkly guys if you get. The little gem like rhinestone thing. Yeah, like something. stuff you have. Bedazzle, bedazzle, bedazzle. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, so. You know, and a rock is just an example. I mean, I've painted on everything, furniture and ostrich eggs and. Uh, but before they start using these on their furniture, they should probably talk to their parents first, right? Yeah, well, I'm talking about like an old piece of furniture that we want to upcycle. So, you know, you imagine you have this old table that you want to make cool and you do this, you know, really fun piece of art. And then you can clear coat it and varnish it. And now you have this little artsy table. So really I want to inspire like all kinds of fun art projects. And um, you know, who doesn't, you know, have like a, something that's, they don't use anymore. Even like an old pair of shoes um, is fun. Vans work great and Chuck Taylors work great. Uh, just, Customizing anything's fun. I, I kind of grew up with older brothers and sisters, and I got a lot of hand-me-downs, so I was trying to customize my stuff and um, just make it fun and add my personality. And, and that included my surfboards, and that's how I got started. So, so why don't we bring somebody on to show what they're doing? Christine Samad, you want to show what you're doing? Can I spotlight you? Okay, let me, um, let's see, I'm going to spotlight you. And then I'm gonna, I have to unmute you. So let me, give me a second to figure that oh, out. Looks like you're in our studio. I know. Christine has been doing so much great work and um, every one of her pieces are so much fun. So what are you working on today, Christine? Um, I actually am working on this shark. Oh, cool. I kind of saw his face in the rock. This was just a rock that we had in the backyard. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of made it fun. I actually have a tattoo that's similar to this yeah. that I got at Endless Summer, and Mark Longnecker actually did it. And in the middle of the, in the middle of the tattoo, he said, "Oh, is 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 a little blood okay?" And I really wasn't paying attention. I was like, "Sure, okay." And then a moment later, <laughs> I was just like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> so <laughs> it's a fun story. So I figure I'd make a rock like that one. So. That's fun. that's awesome. Yeah. I think it's My so husband here is working too. Can we see what he's doing? Is he... he has a broken rock, but uh, he's turned oh. it into a fit. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, so, so try it again. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> so so everybody that's out there, you see how we can all feed off each other's ideas. And so you know, you can see what other people are doing and it might spawn you to do something more creative. And, and Christine, thank you for always coming to the thing. Your, your stuff is so creative and fun. I, I think it's, it, it really is, is great for everybody to be able to see that. And maybe they'll loosen up and let go and um, get as creative as you can. Yeah. It's Thank all about you. having fun, so have fun with it. And it's kind of like when you look at the clouds or when I was little, I used to look at the wallpaper in the bathroom and just find just images and, and, and it's kind of crazy, but <laughs> that's where a lot of my best work comes from is just finding it in shapes and turning those shapes into something cool. Yeah. Thank I don't you think so that's much. great at all. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, for <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Christine. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Thanks for being here, you guys. So who else wants to share? I, I know I put Christine on the spot, but I knew she'd be okay with it. <laughs> um, anybody else want to share? Either raise your hand or, or write it in the chat. Oh, Jim. Okay, Jim. So let me find you in here. It takes a second because there's a lot of people to go through. So bear with me. All right. Unmuting Jim, and here we go. How's Hi, everybody? Jim. How's everyone doing tonight? Awesome. How are you? Well, oh, yeah. we, got, we got a little snow last night, so I'm trying to channel the ocean and the sunshine. So a little turtle with some water and stuff. I dig it. Uh, that can uh, brighten your day, just having something uh, fun to paint like that. Oh, so yeah. So where are you again, Jim? We're in Salt Lake City, Utah. Right on. Yeah, originally from down at the beach in Hermosa Beach. So oh, even, though okay. even though I'm in Salt Lake, I'm never far from the ocean. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Me and my wife, Andrea, here. She's got one to share, too, real Hello. quick. Yeah, what's, what's Andrea painting? Let's see, Andrea. Come on. Hi there, everybody. Uh, working on a rainbow yeah. rock. So let's get higher, higher. There we I'm go. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and you just, for sharing. Today, today was my grandson's birthday, so I just ordered him a set of your pins in the surfboard. So he's super oh. quick on that. Oh, cool. Awesome. Sure to get I that packed that order myself. So it's awesome. He's 11 going years old. Today. Oh, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, All right. Thanks for sharing. That's Appreciate great. that. Look how cool, Drew. Gosh. Okay, oh. next. Um, Eli and Isaac would like to share. Let me uh, get there. Hang on a second. Let's see. I'm on my next color. I'm now going around the orange with yellow. Maybe I'll make it like popping, like it's like. All right, we're bringing on Eli and Isaac. What's up, guys? Here we are. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> So you got some hearts and all, all all black. It looks like it's still wet. It used to be more. It used to be what? There used to be more hearts, but I accidentally oh. painted over top of them. That's okay. That's all right. So as soon as it dries, you, you can add more stuff. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah. What about what about is that your brother there? What's he painting? Yeah, he is. He's Let's see it. Hold it up so we can see it. It's not finished yet. I'm, you can kind of tell right that. Now. Um, it's you know, looking it's good. One. And, it's and where good. are you guys at? Bellingham, Washington. Right Ooh. on. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. We're going to come back to you and get us to keep painting, okay? Oh, Thank look you. at that one. Oh, my God. I love that you guys are doing the hearts. Both of you guys are doing all the hearts. <laughs> is mom painting too? Yeah, yeah. she is. But she doesn't want to show you her. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Show really us. Good, so she should. Yeah. She, she should. I want to see that. But we think it's really good. Yeah. It's Come on, really mom. Come on, mom. See, they want. Show us. Show oh. us. Show us. <laughs> Now I'm playing with mine. Just oh. I'm not even thinking. I'm just making it like drippy lava coming off of it. I'm finished with this one. I gotta stop. I got all this sage hearts, 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 hearts. There we go. Oh, that's my that's my hearts. Um. Hmm. So this is, it's great that technology's allowed us to do this because we, we would do this right here in our studio in San Clemente and we have 20 or 30 people painting. Mm -hmm. But now this way, I know we're not all together um, here in, in the studio, but we are all together and we can all still paint. And um, it's a great opportunity to uh, kind of connect with people and feel like you, you've done and did some socializing a little bit. Um, it's been nice for me because I usually have a lot of people coming in the studio and, and now, we're all in lockdown that we, uh, we're not seeing as many people. So it's nice to see everyone here. And I hope it's you know, doing the same for you as it is for us. It is for me too, Drew. I'm so grateful that you guys asked me to come over. I just work right next door, you guys, and I run a pottery place. And I'm used to having everybody in the studio painting and I get to see what they're doing. I don't need a computer to see what they're doing. And I mean, now they, they're picking up kits to, to take home, to paint at home. And luckily through the internet, which is great, everyone's been posting their um, painting at home with the kits. And that's kind of nice. So I kind of feel like I'm a part of it still, but 
I really do miss having the bodies in the shop, so I totally feel you on that one. Yeah, and, and um, you want to tell people how, if you're in San Clemente or a closed spot, you can oh, pick up some bottles? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I own Fired Up. It's a pink room pottery place. Oh, look at I'm starting to make my rock. Fired Up. Fired Up. Yeah. And um, you can pick ceramics, and you can pick your colors. Tell me what colors you want, and I'll box, bottle them up for you. And then you can take your kit home and paint them. But you know, it doesn't, it's not just for San Clemente people, by the way. I mean, you do have, you'll have to ship it back to me so I can glaze it and fire it. But I've sent packages to Alabama, Washington, DC, um, Northern California. And so basically, if you guys want anything, you just can call me at Fired Up San Clemente and I can get you guys fired up at home, paint pottery. These pens don't work on, well, they do work on my pieces, but we wouldn't fire it because I think the paints would burn away. Yeah, they would burn away. They would burn away. But Willow, my daughter, she painted a tile. We drew asked and wanted to see what it looked like. I totally left it at the shop. I guess I could run and grab it, but it's all good. But they look good on tile, too. She did her shoes, by the way. Oh, she did? Yeah, she sat down right after we did our session last weekend. And she went back to the store, sat down, and started painting her vans. She's having a lot of fun with these pens. I tell you, these are great. And just like you said, I'm sitting down enjoying painting. I don't really get to paint that much, you know, be in the work room. Oh, yeah. Okay. You okay, Maria? Um, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna share with somebody whose name on here is iPad Five. Woo! Um, unmuting. I just gotta find their uh, video. It takes us. Second, iPad 5, here we go, spotlight. Hi, what's your name? Hello. You wanted to share? Birthday girl? Hey. Birthday girl? Hi. hi. Yeah, you. Hi. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> so what are you working on? So what's your... One second, guys. I'll just unmute. That's Christy. And then we'll go back to iPhone, I mean, iPad 5 right after. Happy birthday okay. to you, Christy. Thank you. Um, I'm working on this rock. I don't have Posca pens, but I'm using paint. Oh, oh I love good. it. Do you have glitter on there, too? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. And, yes. and so where, where do you live? I live in Dana Point. Oh, oh cool. Awesome. So you're not too far away. No, yeah. And is it really your birthday today? Yeah. How old are you? 12. Can we sing? We can sing. Can we sing? Can everybody help us sing? Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Yes? Happy birthday to you. Right on. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, you, so you could do this with all your friends. If you could get them all on Zoom, you could yeah. hang out with your friends. So that'd be cool. <laughs> right on. Oh, well, are thanks. you having a good day so far? Yes, thank you. Good, good, right. good, good, good. Well, cool. Thanks for painting with us. And we'll come back to you to see your rock finished. OK, yeah, thank, thank you. you. All okay, right. bye, Christina. Bye. bye. Thank you. Happy birthday. We have um, iPad 5 now we will go to. Um, sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're still here, Christina. <laughs> All right, Christina is going to take over the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we were going to go to uh, Benny. Hi guys! Hey, there you guys are. Let's see you, Benny. Oh, cool. Right on. Look at Ooh, Dad's nice dollar. you guys. Wow. And where are you guys located? Uh, we're in Bellingham, Washington. Cool. Bellingham. We've had a couple people in Washington, so that's, that's right. We know Eli and Isaac. Hi guys. Yeah. That's great that, uh, you know, everybody can kind of see each other. Can, can, is everybody seeing the little squares where you can see everybody? Uh, I can turn it to that gallery view. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because I normally I can see everybody, but I can't see everybody this time. Yeah, sometimes I do speaker view, and then gallery view will show like kind of like a like a bugs view. Yeah. Everybody. Well, you guys enjoying it? And, uh, getting yeah, we are. Thank you so much. We love it. Right on. So we'll be doing more events. Um, I think Friday night we're going to be doing some tattoo looking art, and then nice. I think on Monday, and that's with Mark Longnecker, which is fun. Uh, Christine Samad will have to come on again and. Uh, hang out with Mark. He's a, he's a wonderful illustrator and tattoo artist. Uh, you might have seen him on um, on uh, Ink Master. Mm. So he's oh, yeah. on. Yeah, I see him. Uh, and then um, I think we're having Phil again next week, and I think we're doing portraits. So um, we're going to keep doing these as long as we can. So thanks for everybody for participating. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Phil, that was a great that was a great wave one. I missed yeah. it, but I watched the YouTube last night. Oh, good. Yeah. The YouTube's a little better because you can stop it and start it. Um, right. I could pause. and Yeah, exactly. He was moving quick, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he's so, so fast. Talented. It's so crazy how good he is. And he's, yeah. Yeah, he's he just, so talented, for sure. And he just doesn't think that, like, all those people were trying to keep up. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, like, 100 people on there. It was fun. Oh, nice. Right on. Well, thanks for being with us, guys. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. All right. Hey, now um, we're going to share Jonathan, and I'm going to make sure I get the right one. <laughs> so, spotlight here. Howdy. Oh, Hello. wow. Look at this. Hey, what's up? Jonathan. Hey, Hi, guys. Hey. Let's see what you're painting, man. Paint Tristan and Max, nice to see everyone. What's up, dude? <laughs> let's, let's see your piece, Jonathan. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. I like the sun. Is that a brick or is it a piece of wood? Brick. It's a brick. <laughs> Nice, you guys. I, Jonathan, I think you're the first person I've ever seen paint a brick. So good. <laughs> if you what you can find. <laughs> yeah. So so what do you got? Fear not there? That's that's a great message. Fear not. We're, Fear not. we're using this as a time for our family, like to kind of commemorate that this time together that we got through this hard time together and we'll continue to get through hard times together. So I thought it was a good message, just a reminder of how we got through this time. Yeah, it's perfect. And it, it's great that we can all kind of see each other on here and uh, remind each other that we're all in it together and um, we're friends, even though we're not hanging out in person, that our friends are, are together. And it's nice to see all you guys painting. What's Max doing? Let's see what Max is painting. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the flame wave. I love it. And the COVID 19. I yeah. love it. Nice. That's great, you guys. <laughs> we love that you're doing this. You guys are awesome. That you're just bringing community together and helping people express things through art. And, you know, it's just such a good healing, good thing to do. Thank you, guys. Yeah. You're welcome. And we'll Thanks keep, for joining us. We'll keep doing it. And um, Max, you should definitely come on Monday or um, Friday to see Mark Longnecker. He's right up your alley. Yeah. Where's this Thanks. at? It's on, it'll be Friday um, at 5 here on the same thing, the same Zoom thing. Yeah, are mm -hmm. you guys using the same, same ID? Uh, uh, I think so. Yes, yeah, same. we are, Benny. Or Matt. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. I was looking at a different name as I responded. So I yeah. So we'll oh, send yeah. out two things right now. Okay. So it's the same Zoom ID. We'll just come back on Friday. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nice. All right. Cool. Good. You got nowhere else to go, you know. You know, if you, yep. you just have to be trapped in your house and you can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, Man. six feet away, buddy. Yeah, cool. Nice <laughs> to see you guys. All right, see you guys. Love you. Have fun, you guys. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go over to Emma. And um, Alyssa and John, I see you too. Don't worry, I'll come back to you guys. So let's, Emma. 
Emma. Hi. Hi, Emma. Hey. Uh, sorry, I don't know how well my microphone works because it's just. We can hear you. You're fine. Okay. Let's hear um, this. Good. So good I started off by making this like unicorn thing, and I have the sparkly Posca markers. So I made like the little stars sparkly. Yes. And I'm currently working on this dragon one where I'm like making the dragon like wrap around the rock. Oh wow, that's yes. so cool. That's great. Thanks. That's a really good example of like using the whole rock and uh -huh. just more making it more dynamic. It's kind of yeah. like that. Fish. You see the guy's fish that had the mouth on it? Yeah. Yeah, that was really creative, huh? We'll come back to how it goes. Show me the unicorn again. Okay. Oh my god, it's so cute! So <laughs> cute. <laughs> yeah. Where are you at? What state are you in? Uh, I'm in single money, too. Oh, yeah. cool! Good! Yeah. yeah. So yesterday, you, got, you picked up some pens yesterday, yes? Yeah, I did. Well yeah. played, well played, kid. Well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you're having fun with us and um, you're creating, and hopefully while you're at home, you're able to create a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, it's really great. Thank you for setting this up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. And, Thanks and we'll for sharing. Fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll have fun on Friday as well. All right. This is great. You know, it's really just nice seeing how different everybody's pieces are, and um, I think that's the real fun of this because it helps you uh, get ideas, and you can see that everybody's ideas are 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 different but cool. So yeah. now we have a few more hands up. Uh, I'm going to show Alyssa right now. <gasps> Hi guys! Hey. <laughs> so I I've been working on a, a heart. Rock. Wow, that looks that's it's shaped like a heart, huh? Awesome. Yeah, one of from our our collection of uh, you know going on beach walks and finding heart rocks. Yeah. And so you know something simple. I'll just take it back down to the beach, leave it there. Somebody can find it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And, and then smile. Annie, I'm gonna take your picture. Smile. I'm gonna take your picture. Smile, <laughs> Annie. Smile. Annie. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Okay, go ahead. Show us what you're doing. Um, I made a B. Going a little oh, closer. Cool. Oh, oh, Annie. Wow. I like I like the painterly style you have with that. It looks like real. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. got skills, this kid. Yeah. She's one of my girls, and she is very, very happy. And you can't really see it just yet, but on the back, she's writing, Save the Bees. Oh, All right. I can't wait to see that one done. And tell us what your bird's name is. Pickle. Pickle. Pickle the this bird? Is, this is Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pickle. <She's... laughs> Thank you for doing this today. It's so fun. Oh, oh you just got pooped on, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Part of the program. Part of the program. <laughs> he was trying to paint a rock. <laughs> it almost made it onto the heart rock. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Nice I to see you guys. guys. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. guys. Now we're going to go over to John. Oh, hi, John. Hey, John. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Let's see what you're working on. I started with one, just a little be cool rock. Be cool. I, I, I thought that was that needed a little more, so I, I did one with uh, Samuel Jackson from Pulp Fiction saying be cool. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like it. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So, so we're all going to have like tons of painted stuff by the time the quarantine's over. We're all going to have a house full of painted things, so we'll be sharing. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, kids, don't paint the walls or furniture until you ask your parents. Yeah. <laughs> thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Have nice a seeing you. Day. That's funny. Thank you. And now we're going to go over to Anna, who's in El Salvador, I believe. Ooh. El Salvador, great. Hi, Anna. Hola. Hey. Hola. You got your whole back wall painted. 
Yeah, <laughs> my kids. <laughs> well, this is mine. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it looks good. Like I can't see it very well. Almost like a mandala, like a sun oh, mandala. Yeah. Oh. yeah, and so yeah. where you're in El Salvador? Yeah, I'm in El Salvador in Central America. Yeah. So I'm pretty far the, away. <laughs> you live by the ocean? I live uh, on the beach, yeah, but right now we're, on, we're in the city because we're with my parents. Yeah. Started, um, the 30 day quarantine, home quarantine. So yeah. we've, we've been like that since Saturday night, yeah. Saturday night. Even though there haven't been many cases here, just like about nine, I believe, up to now. Mm hmm. So we decided to stay here. How many kids do you have? I have two. So this is a, another one. Paz. Peace. Paz, that's my daughter's, one of my daughter's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I have the Pasca pens. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, great. I've been working with those a little bit, but they seem to dry off pretty quick. I don't know if there's something that I can do, especially if I do it like on rough surfaces, like the rock. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions about that? So yeah, they, you can add like water sometimes, like you take a brush and you add a little water will help it stay wet. And then they also have um, blending medium that we were using the other day with Phil Roberts where you could paint that on there as well, and that will keep it wet or longer. Oh, okay, Some, great. Sometimes, with like in a hotter climate, it dries really fast. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that, right? Yeah, that it's kind of difficult with the rocks because you yeah. need to get them like moist because they dry up very fast, yeah. Yeah, and make sure you always put the caps back on. Mm -hmm. um, yes. The, the tip dries out, then, um, you can still fix it. You can put it in like Windex, mm. like inside mm. black, and that'll soften that uh, up. And so you can yeah. wash the tip up if it happens to dry up. So, okay. Uh, and that saves the can. But it, you know, people in cold climates have the opposite. It, it never dries. It takes forever. Oh, I see. Uh huh. So, yeah, um, it makes sense, right? <laughs> yes, and you can always like if, if anybody having a problem trying to use a hair dryer and that works but in your mm. case um maybe just just wet wet it a little bit with a little brush not a lot just enough to just kind of um just keep it wet or a little longer so you can blend that's how you blend okay. great thank right. you <laughs> yeah thanks for painting with us i'm glad to see you yeah I'm happy. thank you now we're gonna go over to tracy Hi, girls. Well, you guys got all kind of cool rocks. Yeah, we've been busy over here. Um, Show us. I'm a, I'm a teacher, first grade teacher, so um, it's nice to have somebody else teaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it was supposed to be our literacy night tonight for um, Dr. Seuss's birthday at school, so I did this for my students. I did the cat and hat for my students. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so good. And I'll share one that my son did because he was too shy to go on camera. But <laughs> oh, that's okay. Is that a, a, a green deer? Yeah. Yeah, good. And my daughter did this one. This is Tatum. Oh, the butterfly. Oh, it's so pretty. That is so nice. Good job. Oh, yes. The shamrocks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody painted alien there too? Oh yeah, this one just reminded me of um it was shaped like an alien, so right away I just went with that shape. <laughs> yeah. That that reminds me, so I did one um uh, and it looked like Frankenstein, so I painted it like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so this is super fun and it's just relaxing for me and stress free. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I mean, where are you guys located? Um, we live in San Clemente. Oh, great. Yes. It's, it's nice to see so many San Clemente people and then people from El Salvador and other places. I mean, it's just nice that in this, in this um, environment, we can all hang out together and feel like we did something. I know, for sure. Learning about everybody. This is cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for participating. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now we're going to go over to Eli and Isaac. 
Hey guys! Hey! Hi, this is mine now. <laughs> you that my Wait a minute. It like a kiwi. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's awesome. Not the fruit. So, so what's the other side look like? Is that the same black rock from earlier? Uh, or is, the other uh, side is just white. All white? But I might write something on it. Yeah. Okay, what do you think you might write? What do you think? I what? do not know. Don't I might have this video of a kiwi. There's mom. How's mom doing? Good? Good. Boys have fun. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're busy working. I like it. They're loving it. Thanks so much for doing it. Mine's yeah. currently just black, but I'm going to paint more stuff on it. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see the alien that the, the people did in the last? Yeah. That was cool, huh? See, look, I'm I just. On one. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, there you go. Good job. It's going to a little blue creature on it. Yeah. <laughs> guys, that's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, you so much. We're gonna go over to Lucy now. Hi. Hi, Lucy. I did this. Um, oh, that is great. That's beautiful, wow. Lucy. I also did this dribble. Oh, that one's cool. That's like a different shape. Yeah. Yeah, and where are you? Where are you located? I'm in San Clemente. Lucy, did you throw on the potter's wheel with me? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Bridget and Bracchio. Oh, yeah. it's nice to see you. You too. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, awesome. I like your wall, too. Thank you. Yeah. Are you working on another rock right now? I'm actually working on a drawer um, that I've been working on for a couple of months. Oh! oh. This is what you were talking about, Drew. Oh my yeah. God, Lucy, that's great. Thank yeah. you. That's awesome. Are, are you using the Posca pens too? Or yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome, girl. Great job. Thank yeah. Thanks for sharing. It was nice to uh, see you again, Lucy. You too. We have a couple minutes. We have like two or three minutes left. If anybody wants to, if anybody wants to be the last person to share. Raise your hand or type it in the chat or any burning desires. Any burning desires. I see Andrea just put a message in. I'm going to spotlight Andrea here. Hi Andrea. <laughs> hey. How are you guys? Awesome. Hi. How are you? Great. I love watching you guys all paint and everybody's showing their stuff. It's awesome. Well, what are you doing? I, you know what? I thought it was like a specific assignment. <laughs> like you had to do a verbiage. So this is what I, here, let me. Wait, where'd you go? <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. That is cool. Oh, I love oh, that. That uh, is perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to go like hide it on like one of my neighbor's doorsteps. Like you guys said, you got to your your art shop and somebody left you a rock. I thought that was such a cool idea. Yeah. So it's like your neighbor because everybody should love your neighbor. So uh -huh. yeah, especially now, you know, there's, you know, with everybody being locked in their houses, some people yeah. might be dealing with it a little bit more difficult, having more difficulty than others. So uh -huh. anything that you can do to make people feel better is a good thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost the kind that it'll almost stand up. Not quite, though. It's. Oh. I know. It could it lean. Perfect. It looks perfect. It's a cozy it's little cottage, too. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. You nailed the assignment. Yeah. I'm giving you an A. Yay. Everybody gets an A. <laughs> and I was going to tell everybody um, you know, if you're going to put your rocks outside, you want to. Uh, put some clear acrylic on it, so just clear spray paint, and that'll seal it so that in case it rains on it, it'll it'll hold up. And um, that's just normal clear spray paint you get at any hardware store. So I, I sprayed all these. These all got sprayed from the other day. 
I put mine on my front porch. Yeah. Shot. Make it a little shiny. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we'll do two more shares real quick. Um, okay. Nice to see you, Christy. Sweetie. Christy's iPhone. Christy, you still want to share, right? Just the birthday girl. Oh wait, yeah, let me um, unmute cool. you. Oh, that's perfect. Oh uh, yeah, the birthday girl. Happy birthday again, kiddo. All right. Okay, thanks. And then we'll go. And then the, we'll end with Johnny and Joey. Um, let's see. There we go. Oh, hi guys. There we oh, go. Oh, look at your hands. I love it. Getting into it, man. That's Smile. awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's how we feel sometimes at home, sometimes, right? We can't get out, right? <laughs> you guys got a lot of rocks you painted. Oh, these look great, you guys. Good job. Yeah. This is by far my favorite rock. I haven't finished this one yet. One? What's your favorite one? My favorite one's probably Smiley. <laughs> awesome. Good job. I made job. this one. Ooh, are you still working on it? Yeah. yeah. So you then, um, I made this one last time. Oh, uh, yeah, that was good. I went to your shop. Yeah. That's I, pretty cool. I was cool. finishing up what I wanted to finish it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, even when we finish now in a minute or two, you guys can still keep creating, you know? Yeah, we know. Okay, good. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> Sharon. <laughs> well, everybody, thank you so much for, um, for being here and participating. And, you know, please share this. We're going to keep doing these. And, you know, we want as many people as possible to be able to participate. Uh, somebody is going to win. Of possible paint pens, and uh, that's that's randomly selected uh, from the website. And um, I'm just excited that uh, this is bringing a little bit of joy into people's world. And we're creating great art that's a class of memories after this is all over, and uh, we can uh, feel good about the time that we spent together. Thank you all. Keep creating. Keep painting. We'll see you soon.